As we venture out into the cosmos, we are constantly discovering new and fascinating things about the universe we live in. Even after all these years of space exploration, there are still many mysteries that remain unsolved. But that's part of the beauty of space exploration. Every time we venture out into the unknown, we have the chance to uncover new and amazing secrets about our universe. Who knows what we'll discover next? That's why today, we shall be focusing on two critical pieces of machinery that have contributed massively towards development in space and continue to do so to this day. We'll also look at what made contact with the Voyager 2 space probe that makes some scientists believe it's aliens. In August 1977, NASA took an important step toward the future of space exploration. They wanted to give it more importance and they thought it was time for new discoveries. Eight years after Neil Armstrong took that step on the surface of the moon, NASA began to see that their vision was possible with Voyager 1 and 2. These spacecraft went into space for us to have a taste of what's out there in space and what kind of research we can do about our neighboring worlds. Voyager 1 swung by Jupiter after two years, on March 5, 1979, and then headed for Saturn, which it reached on November 12, 1980. It then adopted a trajectory to take it out of the solar system. Voyager 2 went on to visit Uranus and Neptune after its visits to Jupiter and Saturn. At a distance of about 349,000 kilometers, Voyager 1 revealed Jupiter in a way that had never been seen before at that time, taking up to 19,000 images of the planet. The planet's largest feature, a vast southern storm called the Great Red Spot, had been observed continuously from Earth for 150 years. But now, for the first time, scientists could study its rotation and watch it interact with neighboring features. The discovery of ongoing volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon, Io, was probably the greatest surprise. For the first time, active volcanoes had been discovered on another body in the solar system. It appears that activity on Io affects the entire Jovian system. It appears to be the primary source of matter that pervades the Jovian magnetosphere. Sulfur, oxygen, and sodium, apparently erupted by Io's volcanoes and sputtered off the surface by the impact of high-energy particles, were detected at the outer edge of the magnetosphere of Jupiter. The two Voyager space probes made a number of important discoveries about Jupiter, its moons, its radiation belts, and its never-before-seen planetary rings. The gravitational assist trajectories at Jupiter were successfully carried out by both Voyager 1 and 2, and the spacecrafts went on to visit Saturn and its system of moons and rings. Voyager 1 encountered Saturn in 1980, with the closest approach on November 12, 1980, when the space probe came within 124,000 kilometers of Saturn's cloud tops. We also got spectacular images of Titan, Saturn's largest moon images showed a thick atmosphere that completely hid the surface. The spacecraft found that the moon's atmosphere was composed of about 90% nitrogen. Pressure and temperature at the surface were 1.6 atmospheres and minus 180 degrees Celsius, respectively. Atmospheric data suggested that Titan might be the first body in the solar system, apart from Earth, where liquid might exist on the surface, which has been confirmed not too long ago. In addition, the presence of nitrogen, methane, and more complex hydrocarbons indicated that prebiotic chemical reactions might be possible on Titan. Because of the specific requirements for the Titan flyby, Voyager 1 was not directed to Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune, still the only spacecraft to have explored those outer planets. It reached Neptune in 1989, discovered six new moons, photographed its rings, and observed a violent storm in its southern hemisphere. And then it also started to move out of the solar system. The most ironic part about the Voyager mission is that it was sent to space to last for about five years in total. That has been stretched to 45 years this year, and it still shows no signs of stopping. This is something the scientists who worked on the Voyager deserve a pat on the back for. It isn't easy to build a machine that goes way beyond its life expectancy. After its primary mission was over, in 1990, Voyager 1 took the first family portrait of the solar system as seen from outside, which includes the image of planet Earth known as the pale blue dot. Soon afterward, its cameras were deactivated to conserve energy and computer resources for other equipment. These images were the last of 67,000 images taken by the two Voyager spacecraft. 
Voyager 1 is currently escaping our solar system at a speed of 3.5 astronomical units or 325 million miles in a single year, which is 35 degrees out of the ecliptic plane to the north, in the general direction of the solar apex. The solar apex is in the direction of the Sun's motion that is relative to its nearby stars. On the other hand, Voyager 2 is also escaping the solar system at a speed of about 3.3 astronomical units or about 323 million miles yearly. Finally, we shall move to the important part of the video, which is the terrifying bit we've been discussing for a while. It is the link between Voyager 2 with aliens. Did it happen, and in fact, how true is it? To put into context the distance between Voyager 2 and the Earth, the commands sent from the Earth take about 13 hours to reach this probe, so that is quite far as you can imagine. But data isn't always relayed as straightforwardly as it is supposed to be. Only recently was it seen that the explorer might have experienced an unnatural glitch. This glitch was soon turned into a spicy rumor from all the conspiracy theorists who came running about at it. The rumor was that aliens might have had contact with the spacecraft and reprogrammed its transmission to disrupt the information going back and forth between it and Earth. This could have been regarded as plain rubbish, but an expert in Germany has claimed that this glitch can be nothing more than aliens at work. It is still far from an agreement that a UFO or aliens were in this business because the most likely chance is that something went wrong with the programming of the Voyager. But the theory of aliens is undoubtedly one which can go on for a long while. Because it isn't just speculation, it involves curiosity and something humans have been after for a long time. Consider the possibility that aliens exist, they would do more than mess up the settings of a machine floating in their territory, won't they? Or maybe it is an indication to us to stay away from them. Whatever it is, it is pretty far from logic, and would instead not knock on a door that has a brick wall on its other side. This is great for speculation and should be taken with a spoonful of salt. Despite all that, the spacecraft is still making incredible discoveries as it pioneers its way into interstellar space. Even when Voyager eventually stops transmitting radio signals permanently, the Voyager spacecraft will continue to act as messengers for humans in the Milky Way galaxy because they carry golden records with them. These records provide information about our species as well as greetings from Earth to the rest of the galaxy. So if these recordings come into the hands of another intelligent species, then it would give them a good account of our planet, our species, and our language. But sadly, no one would know about its interaction with other species until they directed themselves toward Earth using the information saved on the golden disks. The voyagers changed our understanding of the solar system and inspired a new generation of explorers. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to leave our solar system. And even now, more than 40 years after launch, both voyagers are still sending back data about their surroundings. It is truly incredible what voyagers have been able to discover in just 45 years of existence. Giving unprecedented views of planets, to the secrets of our solar system and beyond, there is so much that we have yet to explore. And with new technology, who knows what else we may find. We can only imagine what the next 45 years will bring. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.